Hi students, in this exciting chapter we will learn about the preparation and properties of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide gases. So what are the physical properties of these gases, what are the chemical properties, what are the reactions, we learn about all these things in this chapter. Let's start off with hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas was first discovered by Henry Cavendish in the year 1776. Here are some of its physical properties. Hydrogen is colorless. It is also odorless. It is also a very good conductor of heat. A conductor of heat basically transfers heat from one point to the other. So hydrogen can transfer heat much more easily than oxygen and other gases. The density of hydrogen gas is 0.09 kilogram per meter cube. So that means that 1000 liters of hydrogen gas weighs 0.09 kg. The melting point of hydrogen gas is 14.01 Kelvin. That is very low indeed because as you know 0 Kelvin is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of hydrogen gas is 20.28 Kelvin. So these are the basic physical properties of hydrogen gas. Now let us look at the major chemical reactions that hydrogen undertakes. The most common reaction of hydrogen is with oxygen. Hydrogen burns in oxygen with a pop sound to form our good old water. In fact, you can even try this experiment in your laboratory. You know, if you take a burning splinter and place it in an atmosphere of hydrogen, you will see that it will burn with a sudden pop sound and water vapor will be produced. Hydrogen also reacts with a lot of non-metals. In this photograph here, you can see hydrogen gas reacting with green chlorine gas. Hydrogen reacts with fluorine to form hydrogen fluoride. It reacts with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. And it reacts with nitrogen to form ammonia gas. Fluorine, chlorine and other halogens are very reactive. So you know, no other extra conditions are essential. You just mix these gases, heat them up and the reaction occurs. However, nitrogen is not as reactive. So hydrogen reacts with nitrogen only at high temperatures and high pressures. In fact, the reaction of hydrogen with nitrogen is used in the Haber's process to produce ammonia. Hydrogen reacts vigorously with alkali metals. Alkali metals are the metals in the first group of the periodic table. Metals like sodium, potassium, lithium and so on. As you can see, Hydrides are formed, you know, when hydrogen reacts with alkali metals. NaH is sodium hydride, KH is potassium hydride. These hydrides in turn react with water to form alkalis. So sodium hydride reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and, you know, it evolves hydrogen gas. Potassium hydride reacts with water to form potassium hydroxide and evolves hydrogen gas. So hydrogen reacts with sodium and potassium to form the respective hydride and these hydrides then again react with water to again release back hydrogen gas. Understood? Hydrogen is very popular for its use as a reducing agent. Do you know what a reducing agent is? A reducing agent is a substance that removes oxygen from another substance or it adds hydrogen to the other substance. So take a look at this reaction between copper oxide and hydrogen. CuO plus H2 gives Cu plus H2O. In this reaction, hydrogen is taking away the oxygen from copper oxide to form water. It's saying to copper oxide, give me that oxygen. It's taking that oxygen and it's leaving copper alone, isn't it? So therefore, removal of oxygen from copper oxide is taking place. So we say that reduction is taking place and hydrogen is the reducing agent. So in many similar reactions, hydrogen reacts and it removes oxygen from the other substance. So how is hydrogen prepared? There are quite a few methods for the preparation of hydrogen. The first important method which is also used to industrially prepare hydrogen, especially when pure hydrogen is required, is the electrolysis of water. You see, when electric current is passed through water, hydrogen and oxygen gases are evolved. Generally, nickel electrodes are used in the electrolysis of water. KOH pellets are generally also used in the chamber used to prepare hydrogen 
to absorb any excess moisture present. So when electricity is passed through water, hydrogen and oxygen are produced. Another way to produce hydrogen gas is the chemical decomposition of water. You needn't pass electricity to water but you can make it react with metals. When you make water react with aluminium, aluminium hydroxide and hydrogen gas are formed. So this is the reaction to produce hydrogen gas. Similarly water reacts with zinc to produce zinc hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Water reacts with magnesium to form magnesium hydroxide and again hydrogen gas. Water even reacts with iron to form iron oxide and hydrogen gas. The difference however is that aluminium reacts with cold water because it is more reactive than zinc, magnesium or iron. Zinc on the other hand reacts with hot water. Magnesium does not react with cold water, it does not react with hot water but it reacts with boiling water. Iron does not react with cold water, hot water or boiling water, it reacts with steam. So while the reactivity of different metals with water may vary, finally the concept is that water can be made to react with metals to produce hydrogen gas. Acids can also react with metals to form hydrogen gas. In fact the most popular method of preparing hydrogen gas in the laboratory is to react zinc with sulfuric acid. That forms zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is evolved. Zinc with hydrochloric acid also evolves hydrogen gas. So you can see that this is how hydrogen is produced in the laboratory and in the industry. What are the uses of hydrogen gas? Why is hydrogen gas produced? Hydrogen gas is popularly used in the reduction of oxide ores. We just saw that hydrogen is a reducing agent. So it reduces oxide ores to give the proper metals. When I say oxide ores, I am talking about the ores or the compounds present in the earth's crust which are used to extract metals. So let's say you have iron oxide ore, then hydrogen reacts with iron oxide ore to produce iron metal because it takes up the oxygen from iron oxide to form water. Another use of hydrogen is in the refining of petroleum. Hydrogen is also used to form hydrocarbons from coal. There are many different hydrocarbons you know which we require to be synthesized. Hydrocarbons are compounds consisting only of carbon and hydrogen and hydrogen is therefore essential in forming many hydrocarbons. Hydrogen is sometimes used in balloons and airships. You see hydrogen has a very low density so a balloon containing hydrogen gas will float high up in the atmosphere understood because of the low density. However hydrogen is also highly inflammable it catches fire easily. So these days balloons and airships are not using hydrogen gas. They are using helium gas which is unreactive instead. Understood? Hydrogen is used in the preparation of ammonia in the Haber's process. Hydrogen is also used in the hardening of vegetable oils. So you can see that these are the major uses of hydrogen. Let's now solve an example to know more about hydrogen. You can of course always log on to topcoaching.com for more theory and more examples related to hydrogen, nitrogen, all these gases and the entire NDA course syllabus.